Hi, Layla Fay here with LaylaFay.com, and I am kicking off today a six-part series on dream robbers. This is a message that is so important to me. It's something I really carry in my heart for people, and I've had the privilege of sharing it at conferences and other speaking engagements and working one-on-one -on -one with individuals to see true transformation and breakthrough. And in a lot of my sessions, I've been getting requests for materials on this. And so I want to build out a little bit more information that more of you can experience um, the breakthroughs and true freedom from daily dream robbers right here and now that you don't have to wait for some sort of summit or retreat or speaking engagement that you can go hear me speak. I want to bring it to you because it is my passion that every person would truly live to their identity and their strengths and in a radical freedom that just is captivating and contagious and brings so much joy because that's what we're made to do. We're not made for the daily grind. We're not made for um, or designed for suffering. We're designed to release strength and hope and joy in this world. And um, I know each one of you has it in you to unlock and to change lives around um, you right where you're at in this season. So welcome. This is part one. I just want to give an overview and a really important tool um, to breaking free um, from the dream robbers. But first and foremost, let's identify them. Okay. So some of the top dream robbers. And when I talk about a dream robber, they're the pesky distractions. They come in all different forms in our life. They can be, you know, some, you might say they're circumstance. They, um, they can come in the six inches of gray matter that you carry on your shoulders every day. They can come from words of other people that have been spoken over you um, that become defining moments. They can be life experiences, different things. But what happens in those moments is certain seeds are planted in your life that cultivate these dream robbers. And as they grow up and flourish, and if they're fed by other negativity or focus, um, they become giants. And I want to equip you as a giant slayer, okay? And I want to welcome you and usher you into the valley of freedom and being you without apology. Sound good? Are you with me? Okay, great. So if you have a pen and paper, you might want to take this out. Um, the five top dream robbers. Number one, comparison. Comparing yourself to others. Comparing, you know, it's keeping up with the Joneses. It's, um, I don't look like that model on the cover of a magazine. Or, I don't talk like other people talk. Or, I, you know, the comparison just robs you of being you. And it robs you of the present joy in this very moment. Dream robber number two is guilt. So many people are guilted out of their dreams, whether it's the roles that they're playing. I see it often with, with mothers um, who go, oh, well, I'll, I'll get to that after the kids grow up a little bit. Right now, they're my priority. The best thing that we could do to our children is to live out our dreams and empower them with the same tenacity and boldness and perseverance to pursue theirs. Other people get guilted out um, because other people, there's crabs in the bucket, right? As you start to make it, as you start to branch out in new ways of confidence um, and joy and rising and stepping outside of the drama triangle, right? Are you guys familiar with that? <laughs> you're either the victim, the blamer, or you're rescuing somebody. It's all too easy. There's daily drama traps for us to fall into. But that guilt, you can get guilted and disdain into some of those places. So guilt is number two. Number three, and this is a big giant, but we all have to slay it. Sometimes it's hourly. Um, each day. It's called fear. And it truly is false evidence appearing real. We fear, instead of, we, we look to our past and we rob ourselves of the present because we're looking ahead to the future for what might be. We're, we're focusing on the woulda, coulda, shouldas. And that fear muscle just grows stronger and stronger and holds us back. Number four is insecurity. And the top Three can, <laughs> can just usher in the doorways um, for insecurity, right? If you, you're fearful, if you're being compared all the time, if you're feeling guilty for being you, um, that insecurity comes kind of natural. Other things that can be more benign, seemingly benign, <laughs> in terms of malignant, simple words of, you're pretty butt, or you're really good at this, you should consider 
um, if you would just change this, this, and this, then maybe you'd be better. Or we're always second guessing ourselves, and and life experience um, invites other people along our path to sometimes reinforce those things. We don't need it. We're already our worst critic. <laughs> um, but it's amazing how many people are willing to to chime in, right? Well, I want you to get free from the inner critic and um, rid yourself of the old clothes of insecurity because you, my friend, were made to shine. Please hear me. You're made to shine. You're a fabulous, phenomenal individual just as you are. Are there growth opportunities in your life? Yes. It's called life. It's part of the fun journey and we have to enjoy the process. But insecurity does not have to be a companion on this. And last but definitely not least, and you kinda and this one gets brought to the party by insecurity and comparison. And his name is Jealousy. Man, does jealousy just rob us and jealousy is a very bitter root. And once that takes root in our hearts and in our minds, um, it really drives our behavior. And we know this, the things that we think on, the things that we believe, are the things we become. So that is an introduction today to the dream robbers, okay? So you've met them. Comparison, guilt, fear, insecurity, and jealousy. And I'm going to tell you right now, join me each week in this next season. We're going to slay those giants in your life. You're going to experience fresh freedom. And if you are wanting more... If you want to experience even greater freedom, contact me for a personal free session. You can um, book appointments with me at calumly.com slash Nourish, and I would be happy to connect with you because I want you to slay your giants, and I want you to find new freedom in your life, health, business, relationships, and I want you to be the very best you in 2016. So stick around. Monday motivations are about to get deep. And we're going to have a lot of fun.